shape come uh, come the game. So, yeah. How do you feel about your preparations? I feel incredible, man. I really do. Uh, I've been training really, really well, almost too well. I've been kind of worried, like, man, am I too fit too soon? Um, but yeah, I just kind of maintain the level of, of trying to maintain a little fitness, and at this point, just not get hurt, don't do too much, and get to the track of the games as quickly as possible. I'm gonna go down August third, uh, opening ceremonies and all that. Uh, it's a little nervous about staying. You know, I get there two weeks basically for my first round, so I'm a little nervous about that. But uh, I think it's gonna be fine. I know the media likes to blow up a lot of things about the conditions. The Australian says unlivable, but you know I'm sure like I, I, I trained down and now to keep up for some time in Peru, altitude camp, and I bet they would call that unlivable too. You know, so it's just a matter of you know, what your expectations are, and um, I, I think it's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, when I was down there training for like a month in, in January and February, I met quite a few of them. And uh, even at meets here in the U.S., one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, Peruvian tank riders, Grayson Fernandez, he was from the town, racing in the event. Good guys. So it's a small team. It's like 12 track athletes and only about I think five distance runners. So uh, yeah, it's been a really fun bonding of activity. And, I'm really excited to, uh, to be a part of that. So that you went to some, a training camp? I'm sorry? You went to training camp in January? Yeah, it was like January, February. I was there for about by the end of January to the end of February for four weeks in Atakipa. Yeah. So do you already made the decision to switch then or you reached out to them? Oh yeah, no, no, this happened, this really happened, uh, I mean, I had to talk about it before, but at Pan Am Games last year is when I met the Peruvian Olympic president and Olympic committee president and we discussed the possibility and over the fall and winter I was going to Peru a bunch to kind of see like, okay, what all they need, you know, I, I was thinking it'd be for the next cycle, but they were like, no, we can get it done now, we look like compete for this game, so I was just like, if it works, let's go for it, so. Because you're born a, you're born a citizen, right? Or? No, well, it's extort of. So my mom is Peruvian. She was born Peruvian in, in Peru. If I had been registered before I was 18, just at the local, local embassy, yeah. we would just like a signature. Right. It would have been citizenship. But because I was over 21, over 18, there were a little more hoops that I jumped through. I had to go down there to kind of sign some papers, be in person and all that. So. Did you go there as a kid? Oh, all the time, yeah. I went like probably every couple of years since I was about five, six years old. And uh, I'll, I'll those, but before my first U.S. championship indoor, uh, like 2008, I think it was, or 9, 2009. I'd been in Peru for the winter before that, kind of training it out there also. So, I definitely have a lot of ties there, and I feel really strongly about my connection, and yeah. Uh, I mean, you made a name for yourself in your uh, downhill mile. Yeah. Uh, did you think that it would be, you know, Ready for Peru? Running, well, running for Peru, running in the Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's, all, that's so. always like a, a dream, you know what I mean, for sure. Um, yeah. Even back then, I felt like I was, I mean, I'd already made a world junior team in 2004. So I was eighth in the world then. I knew I had that ability by my age group. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I said I'd always plan on for Peru at some point. It was always going to be a change. It just happened this year. And uh, yeah, I'd always, I'd always kind of plan for that one point. Yeah. So, uh, no, what's running really? But the, your live stream of the trials, yeah. What's what God? Have you had any thoughts about that? Any pushback or anything? I don't know, see, There's been a lot of pushback on your boards. Yeah, a lot of pushback it, it on. It created uh, a buzz, so Twitter I don't know. A lot of fans. I don't stuff, know. If, yeah. I mean, like, if the, I don't know if Agat saw it or anything. I just hadn't really thought about it, but I saw you here, so I figured I'd ask you. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, haven't heard from Agat. Haven't heard from uh, from. Um, from his coach or anything, but uh, you know I had a lot of support from other elites, being like, "Hey man, good job with that, appreciate it." And uh, you know I don't want to name any names or anything, but I think being out now outside of an American, like not everybody from America, I feel like I have a little more ability to speak out. Because when you're in the system, when you're in the CCF, and he's a beloved figure in the, right. in the CCF, that, that yeah, makes if he was a Russian, people might say something. Or, yeah, yeah, or, exactly. But yeah, so it is what it is. I said, I said what I said. It's, it's the truth. It's, it's completely true in terms of his A sample, in terms of the period that that was in. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Yeah, but you can't prove anything, right? You can't prove anything? I mean... But you're just saying it's worthy really of being discussed, or...? Is it? Is it? I think it's totally worthy of being discussed. Absolutely. And I think, um... 
I think now that we've seen there's a lot of corruption in IWF back in the day, I think uh, if there is sort of paper trail, maybe it's out there. I mean, there's, there's people have been seen for a long time, tests have been covered up, and it wasn't provable for a long time until emails were leaked, you know? What about now, though? I mean, now the testing's much better. Things are much better now, I definitely agree. I mean, you're not at 41, he still made the team. Yeah, I mean, it's it's shocking. It absolutely is. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a shocking uh, performance. It was shocking in 2012 as well. And um, I hope he's clean. 100% hope he's clean. I really do. But it's going to need to be revisited. And if it does, it does. If not, it's not. But, yeah. All right. Good luck, Enrique. Yeah, thank you.